Hello, welcome. This is now question number um, four for Edexcel's C4 January 2006 past paper. Now, um, you're not specifically given this um, diagram, you're giving it a graph even. You're giving it as just a single 2D graph, um, but the only question it asks you to, uh, the only part of the question is it asks you to rotate it uh, through 2 pi. Um, Radians around. Sorry, just make sure it is two pi radians. Not not completely insane. Um, three hundred and sixty degrees. Sorry, around the x axis between the points where x equals three and x equals one. So kind of try to do that, but not specific. Not very well at all, actually. Um, but anyway, you get the the main idea of um, the graph here. Okay, so. I mean, I've tried to give it a bit of an artistic flair to it, but, you know, I'm crud it out, so, um, you get the idea. Okay, so, we're given the equation of the graph is y equals e, uh, sorry, x times e to the power x, which is obviously a product. We've got a volume, for, uh, uh, the for volume formula for, um, rotating it round the x-axis, um, I explained why we come up with a formula, but I'm just giving it you, which is pi times the integral of y squared with the limits a and b, uh, as with respect to x okay so um that's the formula that's the uh, equation the line okay okay so it's just simply using the formula to give us an answer an exact answer to be precise oh, i'm not going to say be exact but you get the idea okay so the first thing we need to do is find out what y squared is now obviously well if y is x e to the power x then this obviously you you can do double bracket or just square it straight away. Now, obviously, the first bit is x squared. Okay. Um, now it's not x squared plus two e two x e to the x because it's not x plus e to the x x x times e to the x. So that, therefore, it's just x squared e to the. Now it's two x because it's x e to the x times e to the x is e to the. You add the powers when you times them. Basic C one in the C rule that gets you e to the power of two x. That's why I squared. It's very good. Uh, follow the rest of the formula now. So its volume is equal to uh, pi times the integral uh, with limits of 3 and 1 because these are x limits, remember. Um, so we'd have to convert them to anything else. y squared, we've got y squared, x squared e to the 2x um, with respect to x. Okay, now we can't simply straight away do the integral of that straight off our minds because that'd be pretty tricky unless you're pretty much of a genius. We have to use the only uh, um, integration rule that we have um, that integrates two products is the um, product rule, weirdly enough. Actually, no, I don't think it's called the same. Sick of the wrong rule. Same sort of idea, though. Um, integration by parts, is it? which is the opposite of the bracket rule. I don't know, some kind of integration rule or whatever. Um, mine's going to be a bit funny this afternoon. Okay, so um, if you remember that, is the integral of u. Um, dv dx okay, is equal to uv take the integral of v du dx okay. alright so that's essentially the rule now obviously therefore that means our, uh, maybe we've got to remember our late idea um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it but basically it just goes in terms of what is u um, so basically, it will always be, you will always be the first on, unless you include a log in there. It's essentially what the late thing says. Um, okay, so therefore our algebra comes before our exponential in late, so therefore our u is going to be x squared. So, therefore, what I do somewhere else on your page, maybe I'm going to do it over here, we've got our u as being x squared, so therefore our u dashed is obviously 2x, um, our v is, uh, v dashed is e to the 2x, sorry, therefore our b is the integral of e to the 2x, which is e to the 2x on 2, or half of e to the 2x, whichever way you want to say it, both mean it should come up with exactly the same thing. Okay, so then it's just a case of applying the uh, integration by parts to our answer. Okay, so um, it doesn't matter where you do it on your page, obviously. Okay, so I'm just going to continue doing it on this line of working out because this is the only part of the question and, well, I can't be bothered uh, doing it up there, so but you get the idea. Um, the limits are 3 and 1, so it's 
uh, uv, which is um, x squared times, sorry, <clears throat> to apologise, x squared times uh, v, which is e to the 2x on 2. Take the integral of uh, v, which you said is e to the 2x on 2 times 2x, because that is um, du dx or u dashed, uh, with the limits all of them 3 and 1. However, um, so we try to continue this, see what we can do, see where it leads us. So it's still pi times whatever we're inside here. Um, so it's x squared times e to the 2x on 2, so that obviously just gets us x squared e to the 2x on 2, which we can't do anything with. And then we take the integral of, um, obviously the 2's cancel out essentially, so it's just the integral of x e to the 2x. However, we need to do, obviously because we've got an integration thing to do there, we still need to integrate something. We need to integrate this x e to the 2x. Now because that's not e to the 2x on its own, it's a product, it's much like the product we had to do over here, but we've just got to introduce another product rule, which is why this is worth uh, this is worth a nice juicy 8 marks. Okay, so we have to do this u dash v dash thing all over again for this x e to the 2x. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rub that off over here, and come up with our new u's and v's for the second part of the equation. Okay, um, so there's not much more we can do with that. Okay, so... I'm just going to integrate x e to the 2x as a sort of a separate thing somewhere else on your page, okay? Um, so therefore, it's the same kind of thing. So our x is our u, so therefore u dashed is equal to 1. Um, our v dashed is equal to e to the 2x, okay? So therefore, our v is the same as before, e to the 2x on 2, okay? So it's a simple case now of just working that out as we did before for this other one and then subbing it in to our equation that we've got so far. Okay, so it's the integral of uh, u dv dx, which is u dv dx. So u is equal to uv, which is x times um, e to the 2x on 2. Uh, take away the integral of um, v, which is uh, e to the 2x on 2, times 1, which is just e to the 2x on 2. So therefore, if we simplify this out, so it's x e to the 2x on 2, take away e to the 4, e to, sorry, e to the 2x on 4, okay? Because it's e to the 2x on 2, divided by 2 gets us e to the x, sorry, e to the 2x on 4. Alright, okay, so this x e to the 2x on 2, so this whole equation here is just the working out this integral of x e to the 2x. Okay, so it's just a case of subbing it into that equation there and working it out as per normal. So it's, it's quite a complicated question, this, with two integration by parts in it. Okay, so what we're going to go back to here is our original idea of the volume formula. We've just had to work out integration by parts twice. This is why it's quite a difficult question. Sorry, just uh, do some more artistic flair. Okay, so what I'm going to do is rewrite the equation and sub in, because we know the integral of e x e to the 2x is, um, so this shows how complicated it is if I'm losing track of where I am, is the x e to the 2x on 2, uh, take e to the 2x on 4, is the integral of x, is the answer to the integral of x e to the 2x, okay? And all we're doing is subbing this answer into um, the integral of x e to the 2x, which is the same thing, we've just moved this integral over here to work it out, and then we've got our answer and subbing it back into the equation rather than trying to work it out over here, okay? Um, Alright, so hopefully that makes some kind of sense. So I'm just going to write our x squared uh, e to the 2x on 2, which was the original part of the equation we've worked out already. Take, now, I've put it in brackets because we've got a double negative to sort out here. So this is the integral of e uh, of x e to the 2x, which is the integral of x e to the 2x that we had over here. And we're just subbing this in to here. Now we're taking the integral of um, x e to the 2x away, so we need to take this answer away, okay? So we need to put it in brackets first because we've got a double negative to sort out here, okay? So x e to the 2x on 2, uh, take away e to the 2x on 4, okay? Alright, so um, I'm going to tell us to get a bit messy now. Alright, so 
what obviously we've got here is we've got, uh, so I'm going to just sort it out from here. Obviously you can't just do this on your sheet of paper, but hopefully you get the idea. Um, right, so it's volume pi times x squared e to the 2x. Sorry, these still have the limits of 3 and 1 because they're x limits, remember, sorry. Okay, so the integral of pi times x squared e to the 2x on 2, take away x e to the 2x on 2, so we can remove that bracket. But we're taking away a negative of x of e to the 2x on 4, so we add, when we take away a negative, we add it. So it's plus e to the 2x on 4, and then it's just a case of subbing in our limits 3 and 1 and taking away as normal, and then times in the whole answer by pi, okay? Um, I thought I was going to say, do I have actually enough room to do this? Uh, probably don't have enough room to do this actually, so what I'm going to do is I'm just throw the answer in. It's just this, it, uh, the reason I'm kind of skipping this out is because it's the simplest, it's a C2 method really. Um, I probably had the camera off set the whole entire time, so I'm sorry about that. Um, just move the camera off. Wait. I should have done this before I started really. Uh, I do apologise. Okay, so hopefully that's sort of better. Um, Right, so as I said, it's just a case of uh, simple C2, so subbing in x to be 3 and then x to be 1, taking them two answers away, uh, and you should get pi times, so I'll just kind of skip a step here. Um, so we'll see my answers are correct, I'm going to have to not seem at all. So it's pi times 13 uh, e to the 6 on 4, take um, e, e squared on 4. Right. And that is your final answer. Now there's no point trying to work out what the decimal value of that is because it wants it in exact form. So that's the uh, the kind of way you answer the question. Okay, so sorry about that, I kind of skipped out. As I said, I got that answer from just subbing in three. Obviously I did this, uh, working out an answer, and then subbing in one, working out an answer, taking away the two answers away from each other, getting 13 e to the six on four, take e to the square, e to the 2 on 4, and then times in that all by pi, which gets you your answer. Now, I wouldn't expand that out, so you have 13e to the 6 pi on 4, take e squared pi on 4, because that's just more winded. Well, what would you gain from working that out? Well, if you ask that, then you can say, what's the point in working this out, because we're never going to have that anyway. Well, maybe you could. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, I do apologise, it's not been the most exciting video, but hopefully it's had some kind of... Um, you know, benefits in some way. Right, so it's worth a nice eight marks. I think it probably should be worth more, really, because um, the amount of work we've had to do. But just a few things to spot. There's actually two integration by parts in one answer um, in this question, which is quite, which is quite a nice, uh, quite horrible, actually. It's a nice one. I normally say it's a nice question, but this I'm generally putting my hand up and say no, it's quite a difficult one. So if you got that, well done. Um, uh, because I, I probably confused myself there. So. If you want me to have another go at that, please do let me know. Or if there's anything specifically in the question you don't get, as always, please leave a comment and I will uh, try to get back as soon as I can. Um, obviously, you not know, come back at, you know, hands of, with a uh, fist of ham and uh, feet of lead or whatever. Uh, it's the expression we use on the old top kit. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in question, whatever the next question is, five, six, I don't really know anymore.